post today. I'm uh, broadcasting this both on Facebook Live as well as YouTube Live, so uh, we're trying something new today. But uh, anyhow, what I want to talk about today is seeking clarity. You know, most of us, you know, we've got this desire to either improve or we have a need or a challenge in, in one or more areas in our life. And my goal for, for, for my blog, Prosperity Rx, the goal for that blog going forward is to bring value and information on top topics like uh, time management and, and money, uh, faith and beliefs, and developing new skill sets and habits, and leadership development, uh, health and wellness, and, and even building better relationships with folks. Successful people are always the first to act on their desire to continually grow in all areas of their life. And, you know, on my blog posts and uh, um, Prosperity Rx, I'll be covering topics such as uh, High Performance Habits by Brenda Burchard and, and goal building and, and journaling and time management skills from folks like Jim Rohn and how to achieve financial peace from Dave Ramsey and, and, and many more topics. You know, from folks like Robert Kiyosaki and John Maxwell and Bob Bodine and Anthony Robbins and Napoleon Hill and many, many others. You know, my goal is to continuously transform, uh, my, my goal is to empower people to continuously transform themselves through personal development. And my invitation is for you to get on this personal development road with me. And, and the invitation is extended to everybody. But you know what? Few folks are going to join me. So that's my goal with this, uh, with these uh, podcasts that I do, and the uh, my website Prosperity RX is to uh, take this personal development road and, and take it with you guys. You know, Brendan Burchard in his book High Performance Habits says that one of the first habits to reach a higher level of performance personally and professionally is to seek clarity. You know, to seek clarity on who you want to be and and how you want to interact with others, you know, what you want, and, and what will bring you the greatest meaning in your life. And that's what we're going to talk about today on this post, and I invite you to take a sneak peek at what's possible when you seek clarity. I want you to think about those rare questions that most people simply don't ask themselves. You know, what kind of person do I want to be? What are my intentions and my objectives? What if I decide to set and reach higher goals? What if I decide to go for my dreams? What if I can change certain unpleasant things about myself? And what if I can significantly make a difference in the lives of other people? What can I focus on that will bring me a sense of connection and fulfillment? It's from these questions that a new life begins to evolve. You know, satisfaction in life doesn't come from focusing on what's automatic or easy or natural for us. It's a result of how we strive to consciously meet life's harder challenges, to, to grow beyond our comforts, and to deliberately understand, and to love, and serve, and to lead others. Personal development opens up a whole new world of potential and possibilities, and I believe the first step in personal development is to find clarity in your life and in what you want to achieve, so you can develop a roadmap of how to get from here, you know, where you are today, to where you want to be, in the future. You know, I've been a pharmacist now for many years and, and I've been successful at it. And, and I've, uh, I've got a lot of great, a lot of gratitude. You know, I'm really grateful for being able to be a pharmacist. I'm grateful for being able to put my kids through private school and, and for building my dream home. And I'm grateful for the, being able to take those nice vacations with my family over the years. It's just that something inside just, it just doesn't feel right. I've got this sense of frustration and, and, and restlessness, that even though life has been good, there's something more out there. You know, something that I I've really haven't found, you know, that thing, whatever it is. And, and, and when the lights go out at night, after all these years of pushing hard in pharmacy, my internal chatter starts scratching at my reality. And, I, and I'm sure that many of you have asked yourself some of these same questions. But, you know, I ask myself things like, is all of the complexity that I've created in my life even worth it? Is this new direction I want to pursue the right direction for my family and for me at this stage of our lives? You know, th things are good. So if I try something new, will everything, 
you know, will everybody think I'm crazy? You know, am I, am I just being stupid or ungrateful? Am I stretched, you know, pretty thin? You know, can I really give more right now? You know, is it possible? Am I really good enough to play at that next level? Uh, you know, why am I starting to feel so distracted? You know, what do my relationships, you know, why, why does things feel so blah in my relationships? I, I've had so much success in my life. Why am I not more confident at this point in my life? When these questions go unanswered for too long, it, you know, an unraveling starts happening. You know, day-to-day -day motivation starts to wane. You begin to feel restrained or unfulfilled. Your passion isn't at the level it used to be, but at least everyone at home and the folks at work, you know, think things are, you know, I'm, I'm fairly happy. Ultimately, the dissatisfaction spreads into relationships, uh, at work and at home, and then others begin to notice, uh, you know, the stress, the disappointment, uh, the hard edge that, uh, you know, loved ones begin to feel. You know, contribution at work starts to fall off. You know, calls don't get returned. You know, excitement and joy and confidence are gone. And with those goes performance. You know, I, I have some questions for you to reflect on. Are you really, really ready? Are you tired of being where you are and excited to get to where you want to be? You know, that's some of the things I have to ask myself and, and, and you know, Explore. Am I ready? Am I am I wanting to uh, change things bad enough that I'm willing to do what it takes to do so? You know, will you make the commitment to read? I think reading is very important on personal development. You've got to constantly read and enrich yourself. You know, I want you to think about a great book that you've read and the changes that it brought about in your life. You know, and then I'm, I want you to imagine what this next year is going to do for you. You know, Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad was one of the first books that I read that really made a change in my life and made me see that things can be different and that there are other possibilities out there. Another question I want you to think about is, if personal development is a whole life thing, then which, of your, uh, which part of your life is in its best shape right now? And then which part of your life is in the worst shape? And I want you to take some time and, and think through where you are right now so you can evaluate where you stand and, and how you're going to grow over the next year. And then I want you to think about how disciplined are you? Is it something you struggle with? You know, discipline something that you're going to struggle with uh, when it comes to making these changes and it comes to personal development and sticking with a game plan? Or is it one of your strengths? Which are you more focused on in your life? Intake, you know, learning, gathering information, or output, doing things, taking action. You know, we've all got biases, and you know, the answer to this is going to determine, you know, how you're going to need to adjust things over the coming year in order to achieve some of the things that you'd like to achieve and, and to get out of that rut that you may be in. So I want you to think of some action. Well, I want to give you some action points for you to uh, reflect on and to uh, 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 review. And these are things that are going to help you move toward some goals. And in some future video, we're going to talk a little bit more about goal setting and, and uh, uh, you know, writing those goals and developing those goals. And, but, but, you know, this is kind of the preliminary part of it uh, to get you ready and get you in the mindset and get you thinking about, uh, you know, where you want to go and what you want to do. So the first thing I want you to do is write down three great books that you've read and then three great books that you want to read. And then I want you to, you know, once you write that down, then I want you to go and buy one of those books or maybe you've got it already. Pull it off your shelf and, and start to read it. You know, start to uh, study it in more details than just a quick read. So that's the first step. You know, Jim Rohn said the five major pieces to the life puzzle his the season of life, uh, you know that that's one of the books that I want you to 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 think about. You know, Jim Rohn's the five major pieces to the pu life puzzle, and his season of life, and then Napoleon Hill's book, uh, Think and Grow Rich. Those are a couple books, uh, three books that uh, I recommend. Uh, I've got the seasons of life now. I haven't started reading it yet, but I've just got that one, uh, and I've been going through. Uh, 
some of his online training, uh, you know, about developing goals and that type of thing. Uh, he's got a great book on journaling, a uh, great audio uh, video on journaling that you can find on YouTube. You know, if you've already read these books, then think about some other books that you could to, that you could uh, look at. Uh, just start the process of reading daily. You know, you read it, then you go back and reread what you just read, and the second time you want to take some notes. You know, what comes to mind as you're reading it? Uh, you know, what thoughts does does it pop into your mind that uh, that you can explore at a future time? Uh, I recommend reading the Bible or some other spiritual book. Uh, you know, the Proverbs are a fantastic uh, book for uh, life lessons. That's something else that I recommend that you put on your reading list. So number two, I want you to take at least one tangible action to make yourself stronger in these following areas. I want you to pick the area that's the, that you're the weakest in. And then every day, take a tangible action to make you stronger in that area, whether it's physical, spiritual, or mental. For example, if you're weakest in physical, then walk a mile three times this week. You know, just take some tangible action towards the area there that you're, you're the weakest in. And number three, take an area that you lack discipline in and set up a pattern for yourself to follow this week and then do it. You know, we've all got areas that, that where discipline's our biggest problem. Uh, some of us, it's, uh, you know, our, our diet. Some of us, uh, it's our uh, health. Uh, some folks, it's not getting enough sleep or exercise. So take an area that you lack discipline in and set up a pattern for yourself to follow this week and then do it. You know, and if you continue to do something over and over and over again, uh, it takes about 65 weeks for that habit to, to become, uh, or for that action to become a habit. And it's, then it becomes something that you just do automatically. So, you know, start with the areas, one of the areas that you're the weakest in. And then number four, I want you to celebrate the fact that you've accepted the invitation to go on this journey of self-growth and personal development with me. You know, regardless of the challenges you may be facing, today is a brand new day. You know, the, the beginning of infinite possibilities. Uh, as Jim Rohn said, you cannot change your destination overnight, but you can change your directions. So once you congratulate you on taking the first step by watching this video with me, and I invite you to, uh, to take this road with me and follow me on these blog posts. I'm going to post uh, uh, everything that I just said on uh, my prosperityrx.com blog. That'll be up there shortly. Uh, the videos won't be there, but I'll, I'll actually have everything that I just uh, said to you uh, posted there so you can look at these action steps again in case you didn't get to them. Uh, so I'll have that there, and uh, I encourage you to, that uh, if one of the areas in your life is your health, as a pharmacist, I'm very concerned about people's health, and I'd like to give you a free gift uh, from a good friend of mine, uh, Dr. Joel Wallach. It's, called, it's a, a, a video called uh, Somebody Should Go to Jail, where he talks a little bit about the uh, uh, health in our medical system and, and where it is, and I'd like to give that to you as a free gift if, uh, if you know, health is one of the areas you're concerned about. Uh, go to campaignfornutrition.com and you should find that there. It's campaignfornutrition.com. And then uh, you know, take a look at that. But again, follow me on, the, on Facebook. Uh, there's a way that you can follow these videos where anytime I start to post a video, it'll pop up and let you know that a video is coming. Uh, also, go to my Prosperity Rx dot com blog prosperity rx dot com blog and uh, you know subscribe there and uh, over the next year uh, let's go on this uh, journey of personal development and uh, uh, let's make some uh, positive changes in our life uh, you know there, there's certainly uh, all of us have areas that we need to work on and uh, I encourage you to uh, uh, just take this journey and together uh, we can go on this road Anyhow, it's been great talking with you guys today. I hope you got value from this. If you did get some value from this, please share it with your friends uh, and uh, be sure to subscribe so you can uh, get these posts as they come in the future. I'll see you guys later.